Hi, this is John with Sysenge Quick, and today I'll be showing you how to make a custom FreeDOS Live CD. One reason you might want to do this is for doing BIOS updates that only have a DOS program to flash the BIOS. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to the FreeDOS.org website. Go ahead and click the Download FreeDOS 1.2 link and choose the CD-ROM standard installer. Once you've downloaded that, you'll need to mount this ISO file. If you have Windows 10, you can do that simply by double-clicking on it. There is a folder in here called ISO Linux. We're going to need to copy this folder to another directory. So I've gone ahead and copied that. I'm going to go ahead into this ISO Linux directory and we need to edit this file, the iso linux.cfg file. I'm going to use JEdit to do that. And all we need to do is change this, get rid of the menu hide for the live environment mode. Go ahead and save that, and we can close it out. If you'd like, you might want to change the default from being FreeDOS to being the live installer. So we'll go ahead and change that as well. The next step is to put whatever files you want on the live CD. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my downloads folder and I'll copy my BIOS executable into a folder marked BIOS. Now that I have that, we can go ahead and make the ISO. I'm going to use image burn for this. When you start image burn, you're going to create an image file from file slash folders. Select the FreeDOS folder and hit select choose your destination. I'm just going to make it the freedos.live.iso. Now we go over to labels and make a freedos 1.2 live and copy that to the other label types. On the advanced tab go to bootable disk, make image bootable. The boot image is going to be in ISO Linux. It's going to be ISO Linux.bin and make sure you select Patch Boot Information Table. Once you've done that, go ahead and choose Build. It's going to say you've only selected one folder, so we're going to make that the root of the image, so go ahead and say Yes. Now that we've got that, let's go test it out. I'll go into my FreeDOS virtual box. You can see it defaults to the Use FreeDOS in Live Environment mode. We can go ahead and hit Enter. There's going to be a few errors and warnings because it's trying to launch some stuff for programs we don't have that we didn't copy from the FreeDOS installer, but that's okay. You can select your language and then choose No Return to DOS. The D drive is where you're going to find all your files. So here's the ISO Linux and the BIOS. So we can go ahead and run that R710 program. Now obviously I can't flash the BIOS in a virtual box, but this does work on a real Dell R710. And that's all there is to making a custom FreeDOS Live CD. Thanks for watching. See you next time.